Yo, yo, what's the goody world? It's your boy Manolo P. And today I am here with another hat video, but this hat video is a little different. This is more of an instructional video. So um, if you buy fittest, collect fittest, then you know from time to time, man, new era really, <laughs> it really gets funky with the sizing. Like you can buy your exact size and it'll either come in too small perfect or too big and then sometimes it comes in way too big kind of like what's going on with me here today so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys really three ways but we're focusing on two i'm gonna show you guys three ways how to shrink your hat right easy very easy anybody can do this it doesn't uh consist of wetting the hat and throwing it in the dryer i make clothes for a living so I don't like I don't like playing with fibers and and, and and adding hot waters and cold waters and then throwing them in the machine. I don't I don't like that. So um, I'm gonna show you guys three easy ways to shrink you guys' hats to make them fit perfectly, and you have way more control over. <sighs> my son's out there going crazy. You have way more control over how the hat fits. So this is what I'm gonna do. The first way I'm going to show you, this is how I used to do them. I don't do them like this anymore because my boy Dre put me onto a way easier way. Um, but this is how I used to do it. You could just grab a safety pin, right? Like that focus. It's not going to focus. Focus now. Okay. Get you a safety clip. You pinch the sweatband in. And then you clip it, right? And now the hat fits perfectly. All right, that was that's 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 how I used to do it. Let's put this to the side. Now I'm going to show you guys. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to show you guys the other ways to do it. Very very easy, and this is all you need. We need you some scissors, right? We need you some paper, any kind of paper. Any kind of paper. Get you some paper. You're going to cut that paper up into sheets like this. Just small squares, you know what I mean? I cut them into fours. And what you're going to do is, this is too easy. You're going to fold the sheets up, right? It's up to you how many you need. And you're just going to keep folding that piece of paper, right? It gets them out here, the last fold, and you got your nice size piece of paper like this, right? Nothing crazy, right? So, I'm gonna take my hat off. So, here's a recent hat I picked up Toronto Blue Jays, they call it the tie dye hat, the lime green joint, white band. It's crazy because um, recently all the white bands I've been buying. Have been coming in way big so this is a seven and three fourths this is my size seven and three fourths this is my size my exact size only thing is man it's so big look it's covering my eyebrows it's capping my ears now usually i wear my hats here you know right at the top of my dome pause you know what i'm saying right there but this one is like even if i sit it there and i get the shaking you see how, how it comes over my eyebrow, it tilts this way. It's terrible, it's way too big. I can't do nothing with this. So what you do is you take that folded up piece of paper. Now I, I, I already have more folded here. You take that folded up piece of paper and you see those, these tags on the inside? All three of them are open. You see that? So you take that piece of paper and you slide it in that slot, right? See anything on the back? Try that hat on. The hat's still too big, right? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of paper, right? And I'm gonna slide it in behind that piece of paper. Again, can't tell anything on the back, but on the inside, you're sizing that hat down. Look at how much that hat is being taken down now. See that? Put it on. Now, 
this looks good, but I know throughout the day, the hat will give, the fabrics will give, and the hat will become looser. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a third piece of folded paper, right? And I'm going to shove that in there more. All right? All in that one tag, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm just using the back tag. That's all I need on this hat. All right? Looks no different. Try that hat on. Now that hat fits perfect. That hat fits perfect. I didn't have to wet my hat. I didn't have to throw it in the dryer. I didn't have to put all that excess heat. Access the excess heat on my um hat. And now it fits perfect. So that's one way, right? Now, sometimes I might have to buy a size seven a seven eighths or a size eight, and I have to use these tags as well, right? But I don't have to use that on the seven and three fourths. Now, let me show you the second way. What you need, again, scissors. And you need mole skin. Now, for those of you who do not know what mole skin is, this is what people use to put on their bunions and <laughs> all of that stuff on their feet. You can get it from your local drugstore, Walmart. You can kind of get it, get it anywhere. It has a sticky back. I already have some cut. So it looks like this. It has a back that you peel off. And it reveals the, uh, the sticky pad. So here's the black version of that same Toronto hat. Again, white band. Way too big. Way too big. Like this was way too big. This almost came in like a size 8. Even though it's a 7 and 3 fourths. It came in like a size 8. So what I had to do on this hat, I already did it. I had to stuff the tag, right? That back tag. And you cut that moleskin into strips. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys. You're going to take that moleskin. You're going to cut it into strips like this. Nice strip. <clears throat> you're going to uh, peel off that backing. And then you're going to stick it to the inside of your sweatband. Now, a lot of you guys may not need to size a hat that much, so you can just use the moleskin alone. You won't even have to use the paper. But on this hat, I actually had to use the paper and the moleskin. And I layered it. You see, I used three layers of moleskin on the back and then two layers on the side. And that made this hat fit beautifully. Now this hat fits beautifully. See what I'm saying? Very, very easy. Anybody can do this. Again, anybody can do this. And the moleskin, I mean, like I said, it's sticky. Very sticky. So you would just put it on there. Lay your first layer down. Lay your second layer down. Your third. And you size that hat to the side that you need it to be. It doesn't look crazy in the back. As you see, no other sides. Nobody can tell what you've done. Now your hat fits perfect. So if you're not the guy that wants to soak your hat in hot water, throw it in a dryer, and all of that, just get you some paper and get you some moleskin, man. And size your hat perfectly. You get to control the sizing to the exact fit of your head. So, again, man. I know on websites, sometimes your size is missing. And what happens is people usually go a size down and then they, you know, do a lot of stretching. Again, that does consist of steaming the hat, wetting the hat, and then putting the machine, the stretcher in it. If you don't want to do that, man, I always go a, a size up and just add some paper to it. But then again, sometimes you might order your exact size and that thing come in fitting two sizes bigger. And this technique works perfectly. So, I hope y'all, hell, this hat I got on right now, I had to put a little paper in it to make it fit. And this is a 5'8". This isn't even my size. This is smaller than my size. And I had to size it. New era, boy. Y'all y'all be tripping. But, um, that's, oh, it also works on snapbacks. As you see, snapbacks has two tags on the outer side of the, um, snap. You can stuff those because sometimes you can get a snapback and 
you usually are wear it with three snaps or two snaps and neither one either the three snaps is too tight and the two snaps is too big you put it on that two snap and you stuff those inside tags with that paper and it's gonna fit perfect but anyways man that's my fitted hack that's my hack video that was a fitted hack i hope y'all like it man let me know if this technique works for y'all either one either the mold skin and the paper or both you know sometimes you got to combine both like i did let me know what you guys think man like comment share and please 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 subscribe i'm out